Let's look at the fastest way to make money in Emergency Hamburg. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you either have a private server or you go to the smallest server in the game. This is very important because in smaller servers like this one, for example, there's only six people. I mean, it's gonna be much easier for you to rob things and uh, gain money in the game without being uh, apprehended by police. But if you can't afford the 199 Robux price tag, then obviously you're gonna need to just join the smallest server in the game. But you might be wondering, how do I actually join Join the smallest server in the game. Well, for that, I'm actually using an extension called Better Roblox, and it adds these little um, page tools here, so I can fast forward to the last page in the server list. All right, so now that we're in the game, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually go to the tool shop so we can get everything ready for all the robberies we're going to do. If you follow the method that I'm going to show you in this video, you can make over 100,000 euros an hour playing this game. So make sure you keep watching. All right, so the first thing you want to get from the tool shop is actually a ladder. All right, so I've already got this, but um, this is going to be useful for especially going into the bank or exiting out of the bank I should say but yeah once you've got the ladder um, just find the nearest dealer and just uh, we're gonna need to buy some things from there as well so if you don't know where to find him or you're tired of um, looking around for the dealer then I might have a video soon on all the dealers locations so it's easy for you to find him anyway from the dealer just uh, you're gonna need to buy a bomb uh, and that is for the bank heist and um, I can't even afford it right now but I highly recommend you do get um, some sort of pistol or gun uh, to defend yourself from police should you encounter any if you're not on a private server the first robber we're going to be going to is going to be the bank all right so just approaching the bank now you're not going to want to park at the front entrance because that's where um police are going to be in case uh you're not in private server so just you want to pull up right here basically next to this these uh bollards uh, just a bit further down all right and then you're going to want you make your way to the front entrance so yeah, you're just going to come in and rob it but like normal all right let's get the bomb placed down right here Boom, there we go. All right, so now we're in. Yep, just rob it like you usually would. Make sure you get everything in here. And you can uh, open these, if you don't know, you can open these doors by punching them. There we go. All right, and we're in the last room. All right, so once you have collected all the um, all the golden cash, then you want to get your ladder and uh, you just want to line it up with this basically. And then just click and boom. There you go, and then you can just climb up here, head on through this door. Okay, and then you can see where my car is over there. And very important, do not jump down because you will take a lot of full damage. So, uh, but you know, if I was in a private server, I could just do exclamation mark to car, and uh, you know that would bring me to it. After I've robbed everything in the vault, I don't even have to walk. I can just teleport to it like this. So if you you can see the benefits of having a private server, it's really good uh, for grinding money. Now I've got all that gold and stolen money. Um, obviously, go sell it to the nearby dealer. So that's here. And just a quick tip for the bank if you're in a public server, minimize your time collecting uh, the cash and gold. Like if, 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 you, if there are police nearby, then you really don't want to be hanging over there for long. Right, there we go. Now that I've got my gold, just sell all of those bars I've collected. And there we go. Just made about 6k. And the next place we're going to check out is the gas and go gas station right here in the bottom right of the map. It's quite close to the bank, so you can go between there. You don't have to go sell your gold immediately. Obviously, you can uh, keep robbing stuff, but that's going to increase your risk. You could lose the gold if you get caught later. So selling it is kind of a safe option if you want to be sure that you're not going to get you're not going to lose it by getting arrested. All right, so here I am at gas and go. Okay, and all you're going to want to do here is just spam the punch button and the register will open eventually boom there we go money goes everywhere and just yeah collect it yeah just make sure just to be as quick as you can like police are close then just get out of there and then uh hop in your car and get out and that's it that's gas and go so it's a pretty quick one to do uh and then the next one you might have guessed is a jeweler so we're just gonna head down there right now so yeah just you want to come in here and just start punching it then it will eventually break. It's a bit like jailbreak. All right, collect all that jewelry. Then obviously you're gonna to need to go sell this after. But yeah, you just do that for all the cases. Yeah, but having a private server just makes this so much easier. I've not got to worry about police or anything. You can almost think of the fee for a private server like a game pass. Like just gets rid of all the police. And don't forget about the front windows. There can be jewelry here as well, like this, this window here. It's got stuff inside, so yeah, make sure you get those as well. Only if you've got the time though. I can get in and um, go sell it. All right, here he is. Okay, jewelry. All right, let's sell all of that. There we go. Got a nice payday from that. And also got my stolen money here. That's gonna uh, get, I'm gonna get that in three minutes. So yeah. All right, so that is the jewelry, gas and go, and the bank done. All right. So our next stop is the uh, the harbour, 
Okay, which is actually just nearby. Here you can see we've got a little lock here, but it's gonna be it's gonna be coming right off. And they also got a little red alarm right there, so you know it's been robbed, you know. Alright, so we're just gonna put down the bomb right here. Alright, come away and detonate. Boom. There we go. So yeah, once you get in, I don't know why this cookie's here, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, whatever, I'll take them. But yeah, just you know, grab all the money and you can be on your way. And there is gonna be another container further down the ship. Which you can also go ahead and get. Now oh, here it is, yellow. All right, and then we're just gonna pop bomb bomb down right here. Detonate that. There we go. It's open. And collect everything. See, this one's got a little more stuff in it. See, we've got a machete right here, I think. Which you can actually sell this to the dealer. Yeah, it's the machete, and I don't know what that is. It's like a drink. Yeah, energy drink. Okay. All right. So now don't just jump off the side because uh, you're going to take a lot of damage. So you want to come down some steps or a ladder. And then uh, yeah, go back to your car. I'm just going to teleport there. There we go. And drive off. Now I'm just once again going to go to the nearest dealer. So he's right here. And I'm going to sell all those goods that I just stole. So machete, that sells for 1,200. So that's quite nice. Yeah, and that's all we can sell. We are just, Other than that, we just got some cash and drink and cookies. Let's move on to the next heist, which is going to be the Aras Fuel Station. See, let's, over, let's head over there right now. All right, we're here. So yeah, same as gas and go. Just get on in there and, uh, you know, stop punching the register. There we go. All right, there we go. So yeah, we've got like 12K in stolen money. Quite nice, quite nice amount. All right. All right, so yeah, the gas stations are definitely the most simple ones to rob. But next up, we've actually got the tool shop. Uh, so that's just down here. So it's very close. Everything's designed to be as close as possible so that you can make this, uh, make the transitions between each store as quick as possible so you can make the most money. So here we are at the tool store. Then yeah, again, we're just gonna punch at this register right here. Got the cash. These are just quick and easy places to rob. Obviously the bank and the jewelry store and the cargo ship is a bit more difficult, but it does give you a higher payout. All right, so now with the tool shop done, uh, that just leaves also fuel and the farm shop remaining. So those are um, like the furthest away. So we're just gonna head those right and head there right now. All right, here we are. All right, it's just coming up to also gas station now. Just the same process as the tool shop and all the other gas stations. Just gonna go ahead and punch the register. And if you do run out of uh, energy, <clears throat> then the energy drink is quite useful. It fills you up to the max. And there we go. Now I can get it very easily. Collect all this. And while you're robbing it, you can even buy another energy drink or cookie here, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now the last place, the final location, is the farm shop. And then after you've done the farm shop, you just repeat the process, and then you're making around 100,000 euros an hour, which is really good. So this is the most effective method. You will get better at it over time, but it is much easier on a VIP server, because you can just teleport to your car. Alright, so now the farm shop. We're just gonna go to here, and we're just gonna start punching this. There we go, just collect all that money. All right, there we go, that's it. And there you go, now you've done the full cycle, like I said, just go ahead and repeat all of that again, uh, you know, as many times as you can, really. And uh, yeah, you will be making a really good amount hourly. So yeah, just to go over the order again, it's the bank, gas and go, the jewelry store, the harbor, Ares, fuel, the tool shop, also fuel, farm shop, and that's it. Just some extra things that you can do if you wanna make even more, um, if you rob an a vending machine you can sell the contents to the gas station so like that cookie and the um, energy drink I got from the, the the containers I could have sold those to the gas station if I wanted to uh, for some extra money so yeah there's contained there's vending machines around the game and if you punch those then the contents will come out and you can sell those to gas stations anyway that's going to be all for this video uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it, you found it helpful and it's gonna allow you to make lots of uh, lots of money in emergency Hamburg make sure you subscribe for more um, videos like this and uh, give the video a like all right goodbye